Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and I thought I would come and do a quick video on how you can find just really great amazing information for free um, online that can be easily incorporated into your home school. First I'm going to start by showing you guys some of the resources that I have found um, and talk about how we're going to be using those resources and then I'll tell you kind of how I do my search and how I get um, kind of the different resources that I have been able to find. The first things I'm going to show you, um, I had done a um, video uh, a couple months ago, I think, about how my son was going to be doing a research report on the Blackfooted Ferret. And he has since scoped his topic to the, um, well, he was originally just going to do ferrets, but he scoped it to Blackfooted Ferrets. And so um, I found some amazing, amazing um I guess unit studies you can call them. This first one is from uh, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service Wild About Blackfooted Ferret. And this study has um, over a hundred pages and it's just um, tons and tons and tons of really really good information. Just look, little pages like this. I'm trying to make sure that I get the right pages. Okay. Pages like this. Um, recovering Blackfooted Ferrets. Um, you can see like the different activities, tons of cool pictures, um, activities for them to do. And it also includes like lots of links to where you can find other information. This is a vocabulary list of important vocabulary words that he should know. Um, and different, you know, uh, just um, every everything you can, you can think that, you know, a kid would um, kind of introduce a kid to different topics about the Blackfooted Ferret. And then this one is another one I found, a teacher activity guide from the Toronto Zoo. And it is on grassland ecosystems and Blackfooted Ferrets. And I actually really, really love this one. I mean, it talks about food chain. Um, you know, what's the food chain for the Blackfooted Ferret? Um, has different like worksheets for him to fill out. It has, um, trying to, uh, just a lesson, you know, um, there is an endangered animal and why, and then different ferret activities. But these resources have been so handy for us because we have a, tons of, a ton of books on ferrets in general and some on black-footed ferrets but it was just nice to see to have just a curriculum pretty much at my fingertips that I could uh, use from get more you know get more information from have some worksheets that were all ready for us to fill out and also I love the tons of pictures high quality pictures that are embedded into the guides and they're teacher guides so it has instructions for me links for me as well as things for him to do and shorter stories for him to be able to read for himself which is great Another thing that I have gotten, um, these are from NASA Education. This is um, Mission to Saturn Educator's Guide. And you can see, let me see if I can get this up there. This is for grades first through second. And it has tons of um, activities, you know, what to know about Saturn. Yeah. You know, using science notebooks, just tons of great stuff there. And then this one, I open one. I have another one. Um, grades K through four. This one is Johnny's Airport Adventure. We haven't done Johnny's Airport Adventure yet, but we've done another one that was really, really well done. Um, and we'll be hitting this one soon. These I actually got sent to me from NASA Education, but you can actually go on NASA Education's website and just print all that off for yourself. The ferret things I just printed off on my color printer myself, but the um, NASA things I've had for a little little while. And then, since we were going to be doing geography, I found these cool things like uh, on a uh, online, and I was just able to print them out, and it just has the country's flag, and then you can write a little bit about the country and then draw a picture of the flag, the country, anything you'd like to do. These are bookmarks, and this site had over a hundred different countries, so Israel and like Barbados 
and then this like these bookmarks you actually color the flag yourself and then some uh, bookmarks I printed out right in color like St. Kit and Nevis I printed those out in color so whatever um, country you're going to be studying you can just find those sheets and there are some hands-on activities and just ready for you so basically what I do is when we're going to do a topic I will just put that right into my search engine like I put in black footed ferrets into my search engine first piece of advice is to really ignore most of the first education sites that, that you're going to come up with I have found that other than getting like arts and crafts word searches those sort of things I actually don't find really good high quality unit studies and curriculums on education sites they tend to be very repetitious they do the same things a lot of different ways and I tend to not be able to get a lot of depth of information the best resources I've been able to find for information for my kids especially things that are t stem based but I think even beyond those is really going to be looking for websites from people that are actually working in the field for instance you guys saw that my ferret resources one came from the Toronto Zoo they are part of the ferret the black-footed ferret recovery efforts they have black-footed ferrets in their zoo so they are going to be experts in black-footed ferrets the other one came from the fish and wildlife that's their job for if for the United States that's their job is helping native endangered species so that they're experts in the field information that I get on space science rocketry those sort of things I look for NASA the US um, Aeronautic Space Agency and then also um, like Canada Space Agency Great Britain Space Agency it's kinda hard to get information from like Russia and China Space Agency it's just because they're gonna be written in those languages and I don't speak Mandarin or <laughs> Russian so it's really not good to get those there but really any agencies that specialize in those things so you're gonna look for government agencies that specialize in those particular areas you're going to look on private organizations that specialize in those areas. For instance, I get like physics kits from National Physics Association, and they have them free for educators, including home educators. So when you're looking for information for your child, and you're trying to find something that's going to be fun and educational and in-depth about a topic, start with your search engine and type in be as specific about that topic as possible and then ignore your first kind of education sites and go through to sites that are going to be government based or sites that are going to be run by nonprofit organizations that specialize in that particular area I have had a lot of success in finding just really really good unique materials that are sound for the information and they have a lot of different unique type of activities that I probably wouldn't have thought of on my own or they um, have put everything together really nicely including links to videos and other information that would have taken me you know hours and hours to find on my own they already have them there already there for me now things like this um, I did get it off of an education site this actually I got off of a UK website um, and it was activity village and again it's something that it's more for supplemental type things and I actually love um, these type sites I've had a lot um, more success with sites from the UK and Canada as far as more creative approaches to um, some of those additional activities than I've been able to find with some of the US sites the US sites tend to just have one formula and they stick with it a lot but I've been able to get kind of out of the box stuff I told you guys on my search for a vertical um, number line I could only find one um, from the UK and stuff like that so I would just say really start to expand your searches be as specific as you are in searches and don't be afraid to dig around websites when you know that the government agency or nonprofit organization focuses on that particular area that's going to be wonderful um, a lot of times if you dig a little bit they will have an education section for children and they will have a resource section for teachers that the information will be free it'll just cost you ink um, if you have a color printer that's amazing because you can print out just really high quality stuff like with this um, ferret book honestly you know if I try to buy a book that had all these things it would it would cost a lot more than what you know I paid just in the ink to print it 
um but it's really fun lots of different um topics to cover so uh just wanted to pass that along i hope this is helpful and just wanted to point out that there are definitely some really great free resources that can be great supplements to your homeschooling experience hope this helps this is dr j bye bye